Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a little bit different. It's a, it's a car themed one, not a Hot Wheels. It's actually um, a racing champions. Uh, it's it's not really, a, I don't know, they call it a race car. It's not NASCAR. It has NASCAR on it, but it's not a NASCAR car. But it is Bruce Lee. Now, I don't know if you can see Bruce Lee back there on this card. There's a card back here. The guy that I bought this from and his in the flea market thing put the price sticker right on the front. I don't know why I do that. Most of them put it on the bottom. Um, but I'll take that out here in a little bit. So anyway, this is a 99... It's not a 1999, uh, I think it's just 99 because of the number on it. Chop Top Mercury. So it's a Mercury. A nice looking car. It's got the dragon on it right there. And I think it's got Bruce Lee on the hood. I don't know if you can see that. I should take this out. but um, So that's what I, I'm going to use tonight. And I um, was inspired by this pour when I saw the car for the first time, picked it up and I've had it for a little while, even though I was inspired, I didn't go right into it. Probably because it's gonna be a little bit tougher than my normal pours. So it's a little bit more challenging. So I didn't wanna go with my standard 10 by 20 canvas. I wanted to go with uh, more of a square canvas or, you know, I ended up, I don't have a, the only square ones I have are 12 by 12s, and I wanted something a little bit bigger. I, I want more room to work with to get this, this pour in. So I decided to go with a 16 by 20 because I have a lot of those, but they're painted. All of them are painted. So I was going through, because I got them sitting up against the wall, I got them some hanging on the walls around the rest of the studio. And uh, so I found... I found nine. So I started going through them and I got them right here. So I'm going to show you. And each one I saw, I was like, uh, no, I don't want to paint over that one. And it wasn't, that was actually the very last one of that size that I had that is the one I'm going to pour over. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this one was, this, this one was my first one I saw that I thought, Hey, I'll do that one. And you know, nope, I like that one. So we're not going to do that one. Um, then I saw this one. And it's like, yeah, that, that's kind of messy. It's kind of, I don't know. But I do like it, so I'm not going to. And and each one I was like, oh, I need to resin those. It'll pop, bring out those colors. Uh, then I got this one. It was kind of a, um, I, I was doing some beach themed ones and I decided to do one with purple instead of sand and it, I do like it. Of course I like the purples and stuff. So it's got some good, good stuff to it. This one was a, a swipe one that I did and this was actually, I did two kind of like this. The other one is sold. Um, it was more smoky looking for summer. I don't know. The guy that bought it wanted, liked it because he thought it looked smoky. Uh, this one had a little bit more thickness to it not so smoky but that I always did like the swipes I went through a swipe phase for a while um, this one not too bad uh, it's the purples and the golds I was trying to do a cloud pour didn't turn out the way I liked it but I'm still going to keep this one I think this one will be good it'll, again it'll look good. a little bit good resin Whew, hit the stir stick it flew this one uh, I wasn't too sure about um, just because I don't like those dark streaks right in that go up and down like this. The rest of it is pretty good, but I think I'm going to keep this one as well. A nice green one. Uh, then I got, I thought about this one, but I don't know. I kind of like it too. The reds and the blues. So we're going to keep that one. Again, I need to resin all these. And then this was the last one I, next to the last one I found. And I really like that gold that's in here. And it's kind of a spacey looking one um, down in here. And so I don't want to, and then there was some, I didn't notice it before, but right here, there's like a really nice swirls. I don't know if you can see that. It's a couple of nice swirls and then those lines going through them. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one and I'm definitely going to resin this one. Probably resin all of them eventually. But uh, so, that's a little bit of some collections I've done over the years. 
So the one that I decided to pour over was an experiment and I didn't like how it turned out. Um, I just have never painted over it yet. And it's this one. Yeah, some people might like it, but no, I don't like it. Um, I was trying to go with the tree mossy type thing and it, I just, the green was too, I don't know, it's too thick, I guess. I would rather have it been, you know, pretty, a little, little less green in that. So this is the one I'm going to paint over tonight. And so I've got it on my, on my table ready to go. So all I got to do is mix the paints and then we'll get going. All right, as you can see, I've already put on the black paint on the, on the canvas. The negative space is down. So we're going to do, um, uh, Get ready to do the pour with the rest of the colors. Um, I've torched it to get all the air bubbles out. And I've got my red, orange, and yellow, and some white ready to go. And what I want to try to do is maybe start here. Go around like, like this. So, here we go. And is what I always do is I always start with the darker color first on the bottom and to the lighter colors. I think I have much black paint up. Add to that. I didn't have much black paint left, but I had enough on the side of the cup to get me paint on my hands. I think what I need to add, okay, I'm gonna get my straw ready.
let's work with it a little bit. Yeah. Stick and flip it down. Let's see if we can get this to look like a drag out a little bit up here.
All right, I think that's about as close as I'm gonna be able to get it to look like a dragon. It's not the best. But I think most people will get it. They will have the car. I don't know where about the car. Well, the car probably right in there. One spot I'm not liking. All right, I think I'm, that's all I'm gonna tinker with it. And of course it didn't turn out how I wanted it, but it turned out pretty good, pretty good. It's just not, like it's thick here and then it's thinner and then it gets, you know, so I don't know. It doesn't have to look exactly like a dragon, it's abstract, so. All right, I've already put the resin on there and now I'm just uh, torching it. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. I looked up on the art resin calculator for how much resin it would use and it was 11 ounces, which means it was five and a half of the epoxy and five and a half the uh, hardener and I was actually doing another 10 by 20 piece so I actually did eight, 18 ounces and that's why I'm just now starting the video on this this section of it because I went ahead and put it down on put the resin on both of them spread it out because I use a glove my hand and a glove as you've seen in my other videos and so I went ahead and spread it out and it was able to take the glove off so I could use the so I could use the uh, torch with my hand because I am right-handed and I use it I spread it out with my right hand so now this one I've been before I started I was trying to pick a good spot for this car to go because I'm like where would be the spot for this car I thought about doing if I did it right on the end here it kind of takes away from the face of the dragon um, I thought about putting it in the neck like it's like it's 
coming out and the, and the dragon is uh, leading the way, the fire of the dragon fire is kind of leading the way and I thought, oh, well, that'd be cool. But I think I found a perfect spot for it, I think. Because, you know, once I put it down, I can't move it. I mean, initially I can, but once this dries, I can't. I'm stuck with it. Literally stuck with it. So. Let me take a look at that. <laughs> so. I'm going to put it right here. Actually, the back of the the bumper here actually kind of just forms right around that little spot right there. But that way, it's like it's still coming out. It's going into this flame as well because he has come out. He's come out around like this. And then he's coming out here, and you can still see the dragon face. So this is where we're going to put it. It's right in there. So I think that's a good spot for it. So hopefully I'll find a dragon fan or a Bruce Lee fan out here that wants this piece. Now, I'm a dragon fan. One, my high school mascot, where we were the dragons. And, um, so when I graduated, there was a, there was a queen had an album out. I think it was called The Game. It's one that had another one, Bites of Dust, on it. And there was a song on that album called Dragon Attack. And it's actually a really good song. You know, because sometimes, sometimes songs on an album or just kind of filler songs. But this one was actually a really good song and I always, I always loved it. Some great drums in it. And of course we had a, we had a pretty good basketball team, at least for our school. Um, I think we, my senior year, we went to state. We were one ace. We were lower, the lowest class you could have. Because we only had... We only had 68 in our whole high school. So I had 15 in my graduating class. So it's a small school. And... And I'm... I'm six foot, or, and I was six foot at, in high school when I was a senior. I was had already hit six foot, and I was the shortest one on the starting five. I was a starter, and uh, our tallest guy was six eight. He actually grew two more inches in college, but uh, so we had a pretty good team. We went to state that year. Uh, we did lose in the first round, but we lost by four points to the team that actually took second place in state. So we didn't feel too bad about it, but. When we were, we only, counting that game, we only lost four games all season long. And so we, um, usually after a game, we, the majority of the time we won. So we used to play that Dragon Attack song on a, we had a big boom box in the locker room and we would play that Dragon Attack after a win. And another one bites the dust. So, so anyway, here's the, here's my dragon one and it, it didn't turn out quite how I wanted it to, but I still, I still like it. And I think it's a killer piece still, even though it's wasn't exactly how I wanted it to come out, but I'll take it. So if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. My channel is growing. Um, I have a I have one video out there that's 
um, closing in on 2,000 views. Um, it's just kind of crazy how it's how it's taken off. The rest of them aren't don't have that many views on it. And so I, you know, I don't, I don't, right now I don't understand the whole algorithms for YouTube and all that stuff. But for some reason that one is getting a lot of YouTube recommendations and people are checking it out because I think my best video so far in views in, in most views was like just over 200. So this one has kind of blown it out of the water blown that one out of the water and so and my subscriptions have gone up so I appreciate all the all you people um subscribing to my channel and as always leave a comment and let me know what you think of this piece thanks for watching